Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and it's time to unbox another PC game. This time I chose Warcraft, Orcs and Humans. And this is where it all started. This is where all the madness of World of Warcraft started. This is the first Warcraft release in its original big box form. And if you're a Warcraft or a Blizzard fan, this box just also almost makes you cry. It looks so cool. So, Warcraft, as you know it, it's an RTS game. You play either orcs or humans and you try to beat each other the head in. So, let's get a zoom there. Enter the world of Warcraft, a mystical land where evil orcs and noble humans battle for survival and domination. This game, for its time, had incredibly cool cinematics. Check them out on YouTube if you have never seen them. And here you can see the gameplay. And, um,. If you've played Warcraft 2 or Warcraft 3, this resembles the gameplay, only in a much more crude and uh, simpler form. Personally, this game is really cool and I love what it caused later on, but Warcraft 2 is by far my favorite of the RTS series. So, the content of the box. A big book, and of course a game. So the game is basically just a disc with a backside. I think my copy is missing the front leaf, but not sure. I've never seen another complete copy, so if you have one, let me know. The book. Really big book. And let's see what it holds inside. Warcraft. Cool. Looks really cool. The amount of hours I've spent playing Warcraft 2, I think they'd rival the amount of hours I've played uh, other games in my childhood. There's only one game I've played more and that's World of Warcraft. So the tutorial how to start the game on DOS or Windows 3X, how to play the game, how the setup looks, here you see your info text, your menu button, your unit description, etc. etc. And it's a really thorough description. A lot of pictures, so you won't get easily lost in this uh, instruction book. So your options Chronicles of War of the War on Azeroth and this is actually probably the first Warcraft uh, lore so really cool. I actually read one or two of the lore books at least I've read Lord of the Clans, not sure if I read another but um, Warcraft lore is, is really cool if you're into that kind of stuff. The units, the peasant, the footman and the archer and the sound on these, the sound work, the voice acting was so amazing. Everybody knows the Son Son and the Dabu, etc. If you play these kind of games, of course. Every spell descriptive. Here you have uh, a map. And if you've played World of Warcraft, you can see that these uh, actually still fit the place of Elwyn Forest and Medivh Tower and uh, Dead Mine, CRC, uh, Stonewind Keep. Black Rock Spire is actually uh, a part of the game. Stonard is a is a city where you can go. Swamp of Sorrows. Now here you see the buildings you can build. The monsters. And everything has amazing artwork. And here's a part of Horde lore. Destiny of the Orcish Hordes. Not sure if Thrall is already a part of this. Maybe it was added later. And then the creatures of the land, skeleton, slime, spider, scorpion, daemon. So this is a great manual. It it has incredibly lo lots amounts of, yeah, of uh, information on all the units, etc. But also backstory and great artwork. So that was really cool. So that was it. Warcraft, Orcs and Humans, where it all started. I'll make a video of the other Warcraft games too, so you'll uh, see how it evolved. Uh, if you want to see more, check out my channel and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash drretromd. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.